Welcome back to Crawford Clark Close Up and the next in our TV reviews. In celebration of the 25th anniversary of one of the most consistently enjoyable US exports in comedy, we're bringing you our verdict on the top 10 Friends episodes. Yet yeah, we've watched back over all 236 episodes, and this is our subjective list of favourites chronicling the exploits of Ross, Rachel, Joey, Phoebe, Monica and Chandler. For me, I was admittedly late to the party with Friends. I began watching when I was at uni after the series finished its decade run in 2004, but since then the show has been a mainstay on various television channels here in the UK and you can never have too much of a good thing. Hell, my wife and I even went along to the annual Friends Fest a couple of years ago to sit in recreations of the iconic sets. The brilliance of Friends is in its relatability of each of the six main characters. You either know them or see aspects of your own personality in each one, which makes the dynamic of the show more fascinating. This review is going up on the channel 25 years to the day, September the 22nd, since the show made its debut on US screens back in 1994, and the reruns of the show today still make the cast very wealthy indeed. From Rachel's entry in Central Perk in that wedding dress, to the bittersweet finale which sees them all decide to get a coffee before Monica and Chandler prepare to move to their new home, Friends was essential viewing for a decade. Before we get into our top 10 episodes, we have five honourable mentions, starting with the brilliant season 3 episode, The One When No One's Ready, where Ross is waiting on the rest of the group to change and be ready to go out to attend his speech. It was so close to making our 10 favourites and is regarded highly by practically every Friends fan. Next we have the one with the cop from season 5, containing one of the greatest single scenes in the series. Pivot! The Holiday Armadillo episode next from Season 7, another solid episode. The Season 9 episodes in Barbados were also close to making our 10. And the Season 10 episode where Ross is fine is another strong episode that was close to making our top 10. A bit of housekeeping before we get started, come and subscribe to Crawford Clark Close Up so you don't miss out on any new content. Come and find us on Facebook and Twitter and drop us an email with suggestions for future reviews to crawfordclarkcloseup at gmail.com. Let's get started with number 10 on our list, which is from season 2 and episode 14, the one with the prom video. This is an admittedly fairly average episode until the excellent ending, which sees a younger Ross dress up to take Rachel to the prom, but finds he's too late as Rachel's date arrives to take her. With Ross and Rachel having previously broken up in the present day, it's this sweet realisation from Rachel of how much she means to Ross which makes her come round and makes this episode episode, like so many of the flashback ones, a highlight across the ten seasons of the show. At number nine we have the one with Ross's inappropriate song, season nine, episode seven. Ross and Rachel realise that the only way to get baby Emma to laugh is by singing Sir mix Baby Got Back. Phoebe also tries to impress Mike's uptight parents at dinner and fails on almost every account. Coming in at number 8, it's the first of only two two-parter stories to make our 10, season 7 finale, the one with Monica and Chandler's wedding. After Chandler does a disappearing act when he becomes terrified of getting married, and he and Monica becoming the Bings, it's down to Phoebe, Ross and Rachel to locate Chandler and make sure Monica doesn't find out. They finally get married, but Joey almost doesn't make the ceremony to initiate as he's acting on set with Gary Oldman. It's a strong finale to one of the weakest seasons of the show overall. At number 7, it's Season 8, Episode 9, The Rumour. It's a classic Thanksgiving episode and Brad Pitt comes for dinner, only he still harvests bitterness for Rachel for the way she bullied him when they were at school together. Rachel also learns that he and Ross founded the I Hate Rachel Club. It's a fun episode with great performances all round. Just sitting outside the top five at six is season one, episode 18, the one with all the poker. This is the best episode of the premiere season of the show by a mile, as the girls want to prove they can keep up with the boys in a game of poker. Ross is Mr. Nasty when playing against the girls until Rachel gets turned down for a job she really wants mid-game, and he begrudgingly lets her win the game. Plenty of laughs in an excellent early episode. 
We start the top five with the last one, episodes 17 and 18 of season 10. This is the finale, where Erica, Monica and Chandler get a surprise in the Labour ward. Ross waits to see if Rachel will get off the plane and choose to stay with him, and they decide to go for coffee one last time. This is a bittersweet finale to a decade of great comedy, and it's hard not to get invested in the emotion, as everyone, most especially Jennifer Aniston, constantly tries to hide her face from the cameras in the empty apartment while filming the last scene of the show. At number four, we have an exercise in brilliant writing with a more sombre episode of the show, season three, episode 16, The Morning After. Ross has cheated on Rachel and tries his hardest to ensure Rachel doesn't find out. When she does, they're up talking all night in the apartment, whilst the other four are stuck in the bedroom listening to the whole conversation. David Schwimmer and Jennifer Aniston spark off each other brilliantly here and demonstrate some of the best acting in the show. Into the top three, we start with season four, episode 12, the one with the embryos. The episode sees Phoebe get the embryos implanted for Frank and Alice, but it's more famous for the boys v girls quiz that Ross provides for Monica and Rachel and Chandler and Joey. It's one of the most consistently funny episodes of the lot. In second place, we have Season 6, Episode 9, the one where Ross got high. In another brilliant Thanksgiving episode, Ross has to inform his parents that it was actually he who got high, not Chandler, when they were younger. But more importantly, Rachel is in charge of creating the dessert for this year's Thanksgiving dinner, and they all have to pretend to enjoy her traditional English trifle, complete with layer of beef and onions. The episode really has it all, and is hilarious from start to finish. So we come to our number one, and I'm sure you're not all going to agree, but having watched all ten of these episodes again recently for this video, there was a clear winner, and it comes from what we regard as one of the best seasons of the show, season five. It's episode 14, the one where everybody finds out. This is where Monica and Chandler's secret finally comes out, and Phoebe tries to seduce Chandler while they're still all trying to keep the secret from Ross. Ross is trying to get his hands on a new apartment and his reaction to Monica and Chandler at the end of the episode is priceless. This is the strongest ensemble episode of all 236 as everyone gets their chance to shine. And those are our thoughts on Friends. Here's to 25 years of the show and to more constant rewatches and delivery of the classic catchphrases. Coming up next on Crawford Clark Close Up, we're returning to our James Bond retrospective as we delve into On Her Majesty's Secret Service with Bond actor number two, George Lazenby. Thanks for watching, and until next time, that's a wrap.